Uh, before I came to this place, actually, I was discussing Prabhu, our brother is Prabhu, he sent a message to me. I was asking Prabhu what we should discuss, what should the topic of discuss, and he said we can talk about Jagannath because the Sakra is coming soon. That would be nice to know, to hear about Lord Jagannath. And I said, all right. That's why we are thinking. We will speak from Jagannath Ashtaram today and this is a very nice meditation on Lord Jagannath which gives us a hint or you can say this Jagannath Ashtaram can take us to a state of meditation where we can see who is Lord Jagannath. Krishna has appeared in form of Jagannath and same Krishna as Sri Chaitanya Mahaprabhu he has sung these eight prayers to Jagannath glorifying Jagannath, his opulences, his pastimes. This is a beautiful way to meditate on our Lord Sri Vishyadanath, Baldev and Sukhatra Devi. So we'll discuss from the Jagannath Ashtakam today. Okay? <laughs> and uh, so beginning we should come from seeing. I don't know how, what is this tune you've seen here. We have a different tune. Maybe <laughs> we will try to sing. And you can follow as much as possible. Okay? O Magyanati Nirandhasya Gyananjana Shalakaya Chakshun Militam Jena Tasmai Shri Gurave Namo Vishnu Pada Krishna Krishna Yogu Tale Sri Nate Bhakti Vedanta Swami Pinamine Namaste Saraswati Deve Gauravani Prachari Nidhivishesha-sunyabhadi Pashtatya-sasadi Banchakalpataro-bhyasya Kripa-sindhubhyayevaja Pratita-nam-pavanityo Vaishnavetya Namo Namo Sri Krishna Chaitanya Raghunitya Ananda Sri Advaita Gadadha Sri Vasadi Hare Krishna, Hare Krishna, Krishna Krishna, Hare Hare, Hare Rama, Hare Chit Karin de Tata 
instruction of his mother Sachi Devi. So Chaitanya Mahaprabhu is addressing Jagannath here as Jagannath's original place is Vrindavan. That's why when you go to Puri, you know the place where Jagannath resides that is called Dwaraka. And on the Satra day, Jagannath is taken to Gundichera, that is actually Vrindavan. And where Chaitanya Mahaprabhu used to stay, stay in Gambira, that is Navate. So, in one place, you get exposure to three dhams. Sri Chaitanya Mahaprabhu, he is praying to Lord Jagannath expressing his mood that when Jagannath, he resides in Vrindavan, how he resides, what does he do? He says Kadachit sometimes, because Krishna is described as Lila Purushottam. He engaged in performing different pastimes. And Vrindavan. We know there are 12 forests, men, 12 forests, there are Upavan also. But in these 12 forests of Vrindavan, Krishna is engaged in different pastimes. But sometimes, Kadachit, Kalindi Tata, Vipina Sangeeta Kavo. Sometimes, in great ecstasy. Jagannath comes uh, in the groups of groups on the bank of Kalindi, Kalindi Jamuna. And he plays on his flute, Sangeeta Karavo. Uh, he 
plays on his flute. Sangita means singing, right? He sings in the flute. And who, what does he do? Here, Jaitanya Mahaprabhu is saying, Muda Adi. Muda means with great joy. And Adi means uh, the gopis. Adhiri Nari, the damsels of Braja. Badana, Muk Nari Badana, Kamala Swaga Madhupa. Madhupa is bumblebees. Here, Sri Chaitanya Mahaprabhu is describing Jagannath as Lord Krishna, who is like a bumblebee. And while playing on this flute in the groves on the bank of Jamuna, he is very much desirous to taste the beautiful lotus like faces of the cowherd themselves of Braja. Muda Viri Nari Badana Kamala This is a very significant point for us. Uh, sometimes when outsiders, they hear such kind of narrations given in the Vedic literature, that Krishna's intimate pastime with the damsels of the Radham. Uh, because of the lack of true understanding about who Krishna is and who are these gopis, they uh, give a wrong interpretation to such kind of pastimes. Therefore, our Acharyas, they have very nicely explained about the existence of Krishna and the Gopis. Here, by mentioning that Muda Avirinari Vadana, mainly Sri Chaitanya Mahaprabhu is speaking about Smati Radharani. Krishna is very eager to taste the beautiful lotus like face of Srimati Radharani. And who is Srimati Radharani? Radhika Paradevata, Sarva Lakshmi Swarupa, Sha Krishna Ladha Swarupa. Describing the Position of Srimati Radharani. It is explained in Padma Purana. Lord Shiva is speaking to Narada. She is saying, Radhika Paradevata. Srimati Radharani is the topmost mistress in Vandava. Sa, Sarva Lakshmi Swarupa. She is the source of all Lakshmis. Like there are Lakshmi Devi in Vaikuntha, Swarga Lakshmi, Matya Lakshmi, but Srimati Radharani have been described here as Sarva Lakshmi Swarupa, Sa Krishna Lada Swarupa. She hmm, embodies the comforts of Krishna. Therefore, the um, devotee, they say, she is the embodiment of the pleasure potency of Krishna. Still we are not very clear about what is this, who is she? Okay, Srimati Radharani, she herself speaks to Narada in the same uh, Padma Purana. She says, uh, Ahamcha Lalita Devi Radhika Jaja Giyate Ahamcha Vasudevakya Nitya Kama Kavatmaka Satyam Josit Sarupa Ham Josit Chaham Sanatani Ahamcha Lalita Devi Pundupa Krishna Vigraha Avayo Rantaram Nasti Satyam Satyam Hinarada. Here Srimati Radharani is speaking very clearly about herself. Ahamcha Lalita Devi Radhika Jacha Giyate. One who is known as Lalita, 
I am that's him, Radharani, expands herself as Lalita. Not only Lalita, in Brahma Samhita, it is explained that Sri Krishna expands himself in form of all these gopis. And Srimati Radharani is Kala or the gopis. So the Prabhupada while explaining in the First canto of Srimad Bhagavatam, where Krishna enters into Dwaraka, in that particular section, Prabhupada explains that they are the manifestation of Krishna's Sarupa Shakti. Here, Krishna Radharani is saying, Abhav Antaram Nasti, that Vasudev, who is always engaged in the amorous pastime, uh, Lalita, who is also engaged in the pastime with Krishna and myself too, Adur Antaram Nasti. There is no difference between all of us. Therefore, it is said that they are the manifestation of Krishna Sarva Shakti. In Chaitanya Charitamrita, describing the position, we said, Radha Krishna Eka Atma Dvidaha Dhari. Anyanya Vilasara Sasadana Kari. Radha and Krishna are the same in one, but to experience Leela Rasa, they are in two bodies. Okay? So, this is how we can understand that Krishna is not performing his pastime with some mundane uh, people of this world. This is very important point to take a note on. When the tattva is very clearly known, then we can be fixed in Krishna consciousness. So here Chaitanya Mahaprabhu describes that Krishna is like Bhagavati. He is very much eager to taste uh, the beautiful lotus like this is of the Kava, Damsas of Braja. Even in, in Chaitanya Chaitanya, it is explained, Kya Jadi Maan Kare Kare Vatsan, Veda Stuti Haiti Si Hare Maan. Chaitanya Mahaprabhu is saying, Jagannath like, Krishna likes to taste the nectar. When the you know, gopis in Vrindavan, they, you know, come in sulky mood, and reveals their expressions to Krishna. He is saying, Vedasputi Haiti Si Hare Maharman. Krishna enjoys more their sulky mood than somebody who is glorifying Krishna by chanting very hymns. Uh, <laughs> because uh, this is how he enjoys, because he is parampas. So, remember, remembering all these pastimes in Vrindavan and the groups, on the bank of Jamuna, Sri Chaitanya Mahaprabhu is uh, speaking to Jagannath. And then next, he describes the opulence of Lord Jagannath. Brahma Sambhudamma Mara Pati Ganesha Chito Pado Jagannath Swami Nayana Bhattagami Lovatum Who are engaged in serving Lord Jagannath? You see, these people who criticize Krishna, they should understand who Krishna is. Brahma. Rama. Rama is Lakshmi Devi. In Brahma Sangita also it is mentioned that Lakshmi Sahasra Satasam Brahma Shadyamanam. He is served by hundreds and thousands of Lakshmi Devi and Sambhu Lord Shiva. Uh, Lord Shiva is engaged in serving Krishna. Sambhu Amarapati, Brahma Sambhu Brahma. Brahma, who is the creator of the universe, who is known as the topmost Brahman. Right? 
Vaishnava is a better Brahmana than Brahma. And Amarapati is Indra. And Ganesh. They are all engaged in serving the lotus feet of Krishna. That means Krishna is not an ordinary person. Or you can say Jagannath. So when we see, we need to understand who are these personalities. Bhagavad may explain, Brahma Sangeet also speaks about these personalities. Uh, Lord Shiva, Bhagavatam says uh, that Lord Shiva has become so auspicious because he is carrying the water that has the source in the lotus feet of Krishna. Lord Brahma, Brahma who is engaged in the secondary creation, he became qualified to create the universe because Krishna has invested his power in him. Okay, in Brahma Samhita it says, um, Bhaswan Jathasma Sakalishma Nijesu Teja Sivam Yat Prakatayat Epijat Vadatra Brahma Isha Jagadanda Vidhana Karta Govindam Adi Purusham Tamaham Vajana Brahma is giving an example. He says, just like a stone becomes powerful to absorb the sunlight, means it will sun God. Uh, invests his power in a stone. That's how the stone becomes so precious. That is called Surya Kantamani. Similarly, Krishna, he invests his potency in a living entity and he becomes qualified to become Brahma, who is known as the secondary creator. That is Krishna. So here he is speaking about the opulence of Krishna, who he is. Ganesh. Dvande prama samesha ganadi raja vidhan vyanta maramasya jagatrayasya. Again, Brahma Sangeeta says that Ganesh, who by holding the lotus feet of Krishna on his head, has become qualified to eradicate the inauspiciousness of three worlds. So all these great personalities uh, who are considered as God by some people, right? Those who are worshippers of Ganesh, they say Ganesh is God. <laughs> Those are worshippers of Lord Shiva, they say Shiva is God. <laughs> so who is God here? Uh, Krishna. And Krishna is being served by all these great personalities. Now imagine the same Krishna in form of Jagannath, he is giving us the opportunity to serve him. You know this beautiful pastime of Lord Jagannath's manifestation. Again, in this connection, we need to understand how actually we get the mercy of Jagannath by his devotees, blessings. We know it is explained in Skanda Puran. When Krishna was in Dwaraka, sometimes at night, Krishna would call out the name of Radharani, Lalita, Vishakha, different gopis. And he will, you know, become very much disturbed because he wants to go to Vrindavan. The Mahises, they don't understand why Krishna, he left Vrindavan. Still he, while sleeping in dream, he calls out the name of the devotees in Vrindavan. What is so great about this devotee? He is Dwarka, he is here. Vrindavan is like, just like a village. Why he is still so much attached to them? So there is a curiosity in the mind of the Mahises. They wanted to know more about it. And then it, so arranged, it was so arranged that Rohi Devi, who had witnessed the pastime of Krishna and Vrindavan, so she was chosen 
to be this speaker. And then Rohini said, he said, look, I can narrate about Krishna's pastime, but you need to ensure that Krishna does not come here. If Krishna comes, I cannot talk. Then they said, all right, we'll make some arrangements. So who is going to stand at the gate? Uh, Subhadra Devi said, I'll stand at the gate. I'll ensure that they don't enter into the assembly. How? All right. So everybody said in the assembly hall, Rohini Mata started speaking about Krishna's pastime in Vrindavan and Subhadra Devi standing on the gate. <coughs> and in the meantime, as you know, Lord has told us <laughs> Even the his Markad is, how can he stay there when his devotees are glorifying him? The Krishna and Balra, they also came. And they stood next to Surabra Devi. And this is what you see the transformation has happened. Mahabha Prakash. Krishna, when he himself listens to his pastimes, this is what happens to him. This is our Krishna. And at that time, Narad Muni, he happened to be there. And before Krishna, you know, resumed his original Suru, in this form, in this Mahavaha Prakash form, Narad Muni had Darshan of Krishna. And Narad Muni said to Krishna, he said, my dear Lord, I have never seen this form before. What a wonderful form. I have a request for you, my dear Lord. Krishna said, what, what, what is your request? He said, I want this form to be available for everybody in this age of hell. They should get your mercy. Because Narad Muni told Krishna, that's why Krishna agreed to become manifest in the form of Jagannath for all of us. And not only that, now you can imagine Jagannath was in Puri, right? He is still in Puri. That's his Nityadham. <laughs> but um, Prabhupada our international, the founder Acharya of International Society for Krishna Consciousness, he brought Jagannath actually. If Jagannath was happily residing on the bank of Puri, Prabhupada said, no, you have to come with me. You don't just stay in this side of the ocean. You need to go to the other side of the ocean also. You come with me. In fact, Prabhupada, uh, uh, he performed the Chatra festival in his childhood. And as you know, there is a prediction, he will you know, spread this message of God at all over. So he had you know, sincerely prayed to the Lord, and the Lord responded to him. And you know, normally Krishna is not taken on the chariot, right? Uh, even if you go to South India, you, you find in some temples, they do bring out the Lord on a chariot, in the evening time, just to ensure that the Lord is visiting the you know, city to know what is going on with the subjects. But at that time, general people are not given access to offer any worship or you know, trust the deity. They don't get the opportunity. But in form of Jagannath, he is very easily accessible to one and all. You know, the same pandas who are so particular about Lord Jagannath's worship in Sri Mandir, in the main temple. That means, they don't allow non-Hindu people to enter into Jagannath's temple. But when same Jagannath, he leaves Singhadwar, after that, pandas have no control of him. He is Lord of the Universe. Anybody can come. Anybody can touch him. Right? You have seen when Jagannath sometimes he is turning on the Bharadanda. 
Sometimes Terio doesn't go into the temple, into Gondita temple, even one day. Uh, so, Jagannath stands there. Then the people who come to take part in Terio festival, they get opportunity to touch him Lord Jagannath. Right? You know this. So, this is how Jagannath, or I mean Krishna in form of Jagannath, giving us the opportunity to serve him. Prabhupada wanted us to perform this chariot festival. Why? You see how important it is, it is explained in the Purana, anyone who comes and touches the roof, the chariot roof of Jagannath, or touches the chariot, helps Jagannath carrying on the chariot, they will never enter into the mother's womb once again in their life. They'll get liberated. So who is doing this? You all are doing this. Right? Huh? Next to next week, <laughs> the chair festival. And this this time I heard around 10,000, or 5,000, sorry, 5,000, right? You are making a arrangement for 5,000 devotees. So imagine, you know, I thought the devotees will come, and they will see Lord Jagannath, they will get the opportunity to pull the chariot, they will honor Mahaprasadam. You know, what a great uh, service. Uh, but when we perform such service, when we come together, there are some challenges also. Uh, what is the challenge? Because we are all individuals, sometimes it so happens. You know, we don't deal with each other. Then we don't serve for his pleasure at that time. Actually, we need to be compassionate to ourselves and to others. Who can serve? Who can distribute Krishna consciousness? Prabhupada wanted all of us to spread his movement, distribute uh, Krishna consciousness to everybody. Therefore, when we see all the great personalities are engaged in serving Lord Jagannath, we should also try to serve him by following the footsteps of the great Acharyas without entering into any conflict or any kind of personal motives. And then you can actually see like Chaitanya Mahaprabhu is saying, may Lord Jagannath Swami be the object of my vision. One Acharya was explaining, he said, actually even though we are engaged in serving the Lord, sometimes we don't get so much happiness and satisfaction. Why we don't get happiness and satisfaction? He said, because of her personal means. But anyone who is sincerely serving Jagannath, Jagannath bestows his mercy upon the devotees, being pleased with their endeavor. So Jagannath is coming out of Srimandir, out of his own sweet will, to distribute love of God to all. Ratha Buddha Gatsan Kati Maita Bhudeva Patlai Sutil Pradur Bhava Kati Patan Mupakarna Sakaya Daya Sindhur Bandhu Sakava Devatam Sindhu Sakaya Sutaya. There is a part of it there. Some say uh, Daya Sindhur Bandhu Sakava Devatam Sindhu Sakaya. Yeah, some say Sindhu Sutaya. This part I would say <coughs> Jagannath is coming out of the temple riding on a chariot. Why? Because they are Sindhur Bandhu. He is the ocean of mercy. When Jagannath is ocean of mercy, he is full of compassion. Now, you help him to distribute that. That means Jagannath is bound to give his mercy to you. How Jagannath gives mercy, you see, in Puri, 
Sometimes Jagannath Sariya would stop. He could not go to Gundicha Mandir on the same day. One year it so happened, Jagannath Sariya got stuck on the way. And so many big, big, you know, Palma, they came. They wanted to push the chariot. Chariot would not move. They brought elephants to pull the chariot. Still, the chariot would not move even an inch. Then one devotee came and he started singing. And after that, Lord Jagannath Sariot started moving. Who is the devotee? He is Bhakta Salve, who was born in a Muslim family. <laughs> His father's name is Lal Beg. He was a Muslim man and uh, when his father was on the battlefield, he was killed. In the battle. And uh, actually, this Lal Beg, he forcefully married one Brahmin girl. <coughs> and in her womb, he gave birth to Sal Beg. So then, in one battle, he was killed. After that, this Lal Beg, he was in a youth, he was practicing sword, he was learning sword fighting. And then he got injured in his head. And uh, after a few months, the injury would not heal. He was battered. Then he told his mother, he said, my dear mother, it looks like my injury is not going to heal. You have to do something. His mother was a devotee of Lord Jagannath. He told his son, my dear son, uh, don't worry, twelfth day from now, you will get completely cured of your wound. And the boy was very happy. So he was waiting for next twelve days. But the twelfth day arrived, but still, his wound would not heal. Then he told his mother, his mother, you told me, in 12th day, I'll be completely cured, but it looks like I'm still in severe pain. It is not improving. Then the mother prayed to Lord Jagannath. And it so happened that same night, on 12th night, he was completely cured. He is Salveg. He became a great devotee of Lord Jagannath. And when he came, uh, he, this Nandi Gosaratha was waiting for him, actually. Uh, you don't know, actually, when you are bringing Jagannath on the chariot, how he is giving his blessing to everybody, we do not know. Uh, so therefore, uh, uh, we need to understand the importance of doing service. Whether Jagannath is in the temple or, or we are bringing him out on the chariot. But we should keep one thing in our mind that Jagannath is very merciful. And he is here to distribute mercy to everybody. Not that without us he cannot distribute his mercy. He can distribute his mercy without our help. But when we take part in his pastime, that is how we become benefited. And we help him, we get helped by Lord Jagannath. So therefore, Sri Chaitanya Mahaprabhu, he is glorifying Lord Jagannath, the Daya Sindhu Bandhu Sakala Jagatam Sindhu Sutaya. As I said, there is a part of it here. May that Lord Jagannath be the object of my ambition, who is 
there on the bank of the ocean with Sindhu Sutta, Lakshmi Devi. Right. We know the famous pastime of Samudra Manthan Lila, explained in Swan Bhagavatam, Lakshmi Devi was born. That's why she is called Sindhu Sutta. Or Sindhu Sadaya means Jagannath has become very kind upon the ocean and he has agreed to stay on the bank of the ocean. Sindhu Sadaya. Taitala <laughs> Mahapu is saying. In the second verse, he is saying, Dhuje sabbe venum rasi sikipit cham kaditate dhukulam netrante sahachara kataksham vidadate sada simud vrindavana vasati lila parichero jagannatha swamina nipata nami vadate. Dhuje sabbe. Again, here he is speaking about Chaitanya Mahapur describing uh, Krishna's beauty. Krishna plays on his flute, holding it on his left hand. Sabdi. Arjuna is called Sabya Sachi because he is expert in shooting arrow, even by his left hand. So here, Jagannath sometimes he plays on flute by taking his flute on left hand. Bhuje Sabdi Venu. Uh, Chaitanya Mahaprabhu is referring here as Ben because he is referring to Krishna's pastime in Vrindavan. In Venu Gita it is explained, the gopis they say, this Venu is heavier than in Govardhan Hill. <laughs> when Krishna did not have to go through so much labor when he lifted Govardhan Hill, but this Venu is very heavy. <laughs> That's why when Krishna plays on his foot, Venu he turns in threefold bending form. Because of the heaviness of the foot, Krishna is bent in three places. <laughs> and he is also fortunate to bring the nectar from Krishna's lotus mouth. So that Venu, Chaitanya would remember that Venu, he is having the peacock feather on his head and Kaditate Dukuram. And he is wearing a yellow silk garment. Sadasimur Vrindavana Prasatiriya In this way, he is situated in Vrindavan. And he expands his pastimes. Lila Parichar means his pastime in Vrindavan is ever expanding. Morning time, he leaves Mother Jasoda's house to her the cow. And Mother Jasoda will decorate Krishna with different jewels and ornaments. And then Krishna is going to the forest in Vrindavan with his friends, cowherd boy friends. And then when they reach uh, in Vrindavan, then the boys they're going to take off all the jewelry. And they will collect the fruits, flowers, twigs, you know, one type of soil from Vrindavan. And then they will decorate Krishna. His pastimes are ever expanding. Night time, he is performing Rasala pastime. So like this, Chaitanya Mahaprabhu is saying, this Jagannath, who is Vrindavan Nivasi, he is always engaged in performing his pastime in Vrindavan. May the Jagannath be the object of my vision. Kripa Pala Bara Sajala Jaladasya Nidhi Chira Ramabani Ramas Pradamala Pankhe Vamukha 
सुरेंद्र इराराध्य सुदिना सीखा गीत चरित जगन्नाथ स्वामी ने प्रताप ने बताया कृपा पार वाल अगेन इज द ओशन ऑफ मर्सी सदल जलद श्रेणी रुचिरा ही इज बॉडीली ही वुड हैव बीन डिस्क्राइब एज दैट ऑफ द इन क्लाउड Krishna's body color cannot be described by any material object. There is no resemblance. But sometimes it has been described like so his body color is resembles that of the new moon, new cloud. Sometimes say atosi flower. There is a particular flower uh, color resembles Krishna's body color. Sometimes it is said Tamil tree color. <laughs> Uh, because there is no material object in this world which can describe the body hue of Krishna. Uh, so here, Chaitanya Mahaprabhu is saying, "Sudala Devata Sanjitu Rama Bani Rama Sthurada Rama Bani Rama." What Krishna is doing, Jagannath is doing. He is actually giving pleasure to Rama Devi and Bani means Saraswati. Rama Devi is Rama. So Jagannath is always engaged in giving pleasure to his devotees, like Lakshmi Devi and Saraswati Devi. Amala Pankir Ramuta, his beautiful face is like fully bloomed lotus. So in that way. Uh, when Chaitanya Mahaprabhu is speaking about Jagannath, Chaitanya Mahaprabhu's mood is when we know who Jagannath is, what is his uh, mood, and we also take part in his service, then. We get also mercy from Jagannath. Uh, so that's why I was thinking to discuss something from here because Rasatra is coming and you all are every year performing this festival and doing such a nice service. Uh, it's a very wonderful service. Chaitanya Mahaprabhu is saying we all must be engaged in serving Him. And at the end, because I know you all have to go to work tomorrow. I don't know. That I told. I was told that you should come here by seven thirty. That's why I'm not going in detail. Just touching a few points here and there. Uh, at the end, they said that Jagannath has to come. Punyan Japade Pratham Sri Sarva Papa Vishuddha Atma Vishnu Lokam Sadatshati. Many people in this world, they just simply want to become spiritual person. To become free from the reaction of this sinful life. Uh, here, Chaitanya Mahaprabhu is saying, "Jagannatha stakam punyam jagatpate prayatam suci sarva pāpa vishuddham." Anyone who recites this Jagannath astakam regularly, he becomes pure. He becomes free from the sinful reactions, and at the end. Enters into Vishnu Loka. Vishnu Loka, sir, actually. <laughs> But uh, not only that, anyone who takes part in Lord Shiva festival and helps Lord Jagannath to perform this pastime of riding on the chariot, they also don't enter into their mother's womb. I mean, they also become fully purified of the material contents. And you are giving that opportunity to everybody. Thank you very much for helping Lord Jagannath to perform this pastime in this city, Calgary. And may Lord Jagannath bless you all. You be successful in your Krishna consciousness. Some question or comment, some concern you may have, you can ask anything.
The Lord is keeping quiet. Yes, brother. Since probably you were born in the Purushottam Khetra and uh, in your personal life, is there any highlights related to Jagannath that you can share? Oh, there are a lot of Jagannath pastimes that are even happening in Rajapur. <laughs> <laughs> Involved in yeah, in Jagannath, in in in, in um, we have a Jagannath temple in Mayapur, you know, yeah, yeah. those who have been to Mayapur, they know. Jagannath is Jagannath actually. Uh, one day, it so happened, one lady, a okay, Muslim lady actually, we have a lot of Muslim people residing near Rajapur. Mm -hmm. This Muslim lady came to our temple with a mirror and he told our pujari Prabhu I want to give it as a present to Lord Jagannath kindly accept it no <laughs> people come to give grace you know sometimes people bring fruits flowers this lady Muslim lady bringing a mirror and saying this is used for Lord Jagannath service and so what happened then the lady explained the lady came with her grandson he said, you see this grandchild, see he is my grandson. And this boy was blind since birth. And we brought him to many doctors. We spent a lot of money. We have sold all our property, except only our house. Because this is the only male child in our family. But he could not be cured. Then we are hopeless. So one day I came to your temple. Then I told your Lord. I said to him, you have such a big eye. <laughs> <laughs> and you are able to see everything. Why you made my grandson blind? Please. If you can see everything with such a big eye, you also can give eyesight to my grandson. Then I left. In seven days' time, my grandchild was cured of his blindness. Yeah. And that day, I had promised to him. I said, if you cure my grandchild's blindness, I'll give you a mirror so that you can look your beautiful face. <laughs> See? Huh? Jagannath is very, very much. Jagannath actually responds to his devotees. The point is, he is not just a statue standing at the altar. He is not just Daru Brahma. No. He is Brajendra Nandan. He is Sham Sundar. Leela Parichacha, Chaitanam Chaitanam Mahaprabhu is saying he is always engaged in performing his pastime. He is performing his pastime today with those who want to reciprocate with him. Huh? We had a god who <laughs> used to, you know, was working the watchman in our temple. And he he had experienced Jagannath going to the uh, um, we have a lot of jackfruit tree in Jagannath actually. Jagannath likes to eat jackfruit. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> Jagannath Prabhu from Mayapur, you know. He, you, every year he would go to Jagannath temple to do Angarag after Snan Purnima. Snan Purnima day we bed the deity and then afterwards he needs repenting. So Jagannath Prabhu he used to go. He goes even today also every year to Pandora Jagannath. One night he could not sleep. And then he just you know, took a chanting bit and came out of his room. And he was chanting near Jagannath temple. And he could hear somebody like, mm, mm. like when you have severe cold and very, you know, very, you know, yeah. A strong fever, you make sound like this because you feel so much of fever in you, right? <laughs> so Jagannath came here and he heard 
you know, this kind of sound coming out of the Ganga's temple, where he was sleeping at night. Uh, so we say, people think, well, he's just a statue, you know, wooden deity. Wood. How can catch cold to wood? <laughs> if you think he's a wood, then he will respond to you as a wood. One day Prabhupada was walking on the street and then there was one Prabhupada's picture lying on the street. Then one of Prabhupada's disciples was walking with Prabhupada. He said, Prabhupada, we know that you and your pictures are non-different. Uh, so are you there in this picture? Prabhupada said, yes and no. He said, and one who thinks I am there, I am there for him. One who thinks I am not there, I am not there for him. Prabhupada is saying. So similarly, when we worship Lord Jagannath, if we feel he is just a wooden statue, then he will also reciprocate with us. Right? A wooden statue. He will not reveal more than beyond that. When we feel he is Shamsundar, he will also reciprocate with us in the form of Shamsundar. So therefore, we are bringing to attention that Jagannath is very merciful, especially in this age of Kali. <laughs> of course, Krishna is merciful in the form of Chaitanya Mahaprabhu. In form of Jagannath also he is very, very merciful. Uh, he is distributing his mercy to everybody and you all are engaged in distributing Jagannath's mercy. May you all be blessed by Jagannath and continue your wonderful service. Maybe, you know, try to build a palace. Here he said, um, Jagannath is residing on his palace on the bank of the ocean. Right? So similarly, where is there also ocean nearby, right? Vancouver. Yeah. 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 But you can also build a palace for him, I was thinking. Today when I came, I don't know why it came to my mind today only. <laughs> when I came here, I was thinking like, you know, maybe we should have a bigger temple here. <laughs> I don't know how it came to me. I'm just sharing with you. I felt it like that. It will happen, bro. Yeah. Should build a bigger temple, you know. We should have a nice gondola with you know flowers in it, and people from distant places they can also see. They can come, they can take part, they can get opportunity to serve. Anyway, we are doing wonderful service. We are very happy that, in spite of a lot of challenges. And during Corona and after Corona now also you are coming together, you are giving your time, you are giving your money to upkeep with this temple program, keep this good work, Prabhupada will be very pleased with you. And of course Krishna wants us to help him distribute this love to one and all. And we are doing that. Hare Krishna, Hare Krishna, Krishna Krishna, Hare Hare, Hare Ram, Hare Ram, Ram Ram, Hare Sri Prabhupada Ki, Sanaveta Bhakta Vrinda Ki, Nitai Guru Pramanande, Hare Guru. This grace for Dhananda Prabhu Ki, Sri Prabhupada Ki. Hare Krishna. Hare Krishna. So thank you all for coming and joining us this evening for a wonderful session on the pastimes of Lord Jagannath. We recited the Jagannath Stikam and Prabhupada explained it so nicely. Was it? I have never actually, we always sing Jagannath Stikam, but a translation like this, it was wonderful. Very good. Yeah. And Prabhuji came last 
2015 in Panihati time, June. Since then, seven years now, and uh, eight, yeah, seven years, and uh, we have Prabhuji's association again. So, we would like to have more and more association. So, we will pray to Shri Radha Madhav on their lotus feet and ask them that Prabhuji keeps coming. Um, Prabhuji was saying that his trip was all scheduled and I was I was wishing that if he would have come about seven to eight days later he would have been with us during the Rathyatra ceremony, the festival of Rathyatra. But uh, well, <laughs> we hope maybe next year Prabhuji is here with us. So we want to thank Prabhuji for his wonderful session. You can personally come and see him. Um, if you have any questions that you did not want to ask in public, so you can come and see personally. But again, we always appreciate uh, devotees coming and giving their Krishna Prema to us, um, delivering these talks. Out of their busy schedules, you know, Prabhuji has been traveling all around everywhere. And during even COVID, he was constantly on uh, Zoom sessions. Um, and uh, the, the introduction part of Prabhuji, Prabhuji is also in charge for Mayapur Academy. Any devotee who is, Mayapur Institute, sorry. So any devotee who are interested in getting more of um, like Bhakti Shastri or Bhakti Vaibhava, or there are so many courses, you can visit the Mayapur Institute website. And if you have questions regarding it, you can come see Prabhuji as well. Just one information I want to share in this regard with you. Uh, since Prabhu mentioned, yeah, actually my main service is to educate devotees in Krishna consciousness. Prabhupada wanted to establish one university in Mayapur to teach our Vedic literature. And I am working on that project. We have got 11 acres land. We have got a building. There is one kuti, there is you know, kitchen. Now, Deity Worship Department and also the Kirtan Department they are also joining with us. So, our plan is to have an university in Mayapur where we will teach all these things. And uh, currently, I am kind of heading up the project. Now, because mostly I am working in teaching and studying, therefore, Recently, we have prepared one carry column on Srimad Bhagavatam, which anybody can study on their own and understand without any need of explanation. Like for example, you know, sometimes Prabhupada's purpose are quite very difficult to understand. If you, for example, if you read the first verse, Dhamma Deshya verse, you see, Prabhupada has given a very long purport, very highly philosophical. So, we are thinking that let us, you know, definitely Krishna Tattva can be explained in a very deep way. But at the same time, the same concept can be explained in a very simple way so that they will get desire to study Prabhupada's books even more. So, all these main main points from the Srimad Bhagavatam verses have been collected and in graphic form we have explained it. A lot of graphs, analogies uh, to explain these concepts. And we have you know, created book, handbook for that. You can, if you are desirous to study Bhagavatam systematically, you want to learn then you can also contact me. I will give access to that book. You can use that and you study on your own. There is explanation. There is also questions. And anyway, if you want to appear for the test, fine. If you don't want, you don't mind. And we have analyzed the verses in a different way. How? In Prabhupada's translation, you see main, main Sanskrit is there, Sanskrit text is there, then there is a translation. From reading the translation, you will not be able to know which Sanskrit part is translated to the first sentence in translation. Which Sanskrit part in the verse is translated to the second line in the translation. 
Similarly, the third line. So what we have done is, the Sanskrit part which is translated to the first sentence, we have you know, given that first Sanskrit line, then this translation, then the second Sanskrit, then second line translation, then third Sanskrit, then third translation line. So like that, those who are kind of interested to, especially those who are preacher and teachers, it is helpful for them. It gives you a kind of you know, skill how to convey the message by following the Sanskrit. That is useful for the preachers, teachers. So there's a recent you know, uh, development has happened. And of course, as Prabhu mentioned, we are now currently conducting Bhakti Sati, Bhakti Bhagavad, Bhakti Vedanta, Bhakti Sarvama, Chaitan Chaitanya teaching, Vrat Bhagavatam teaching. Recently, we're going to start you know, one course. That is, of course, for the scholarly people who wants to study Vedanta Darshan. So we're going to start one course in Vedanta Darshan. Uh, for the newcomers, we have a course on Prabhupada's small books that is uh, called Exploring Krishna Consciousness. So starting from beginners until those who want to go in depth of studying our uh, books, we have courses. So please connect yourself. You can study online. If you want to come to Mayapur, stay with us in our campus and study. Staying in Mayapur Dham, experience the joy of studying Shastra. Sitting on the lap of Radha Madhava, who is also in Mayapur. Okay? And here also you can sit on his lap and join online. Thank you very much. Thank you, Guruji. Louder one time. Hare Krishna, Hare Krishna, Krishna Krishna, Hare Hare. Hare Ram, Hare Ram, Ram Ram, Hare Hare. His grace, Padmanayam Prabhu, Ki Jai. Shri Prabhupada, Ki Jai.